good news. Um, I was doing some math off stream, and or actually it was after I did the last video, and realized that I think I'm gonna be good. I think I'm gonna be good. This whole quest to get the 10 million gold, according to my calculations, um, I should be fine. Let's let's actually go over these calculations one more time, just to see if I'm right or if I'm crazy. Or both. Maybe it's a bit of both. Who knows? Maybe it's just the latter. I mean, who's to say? You know, why judge? Okay, let me fix my camera first. I'm leaving this in the YouTube video. Sorry for ruining the magic of, uh, of the stream. Okay, so... We look at the number of kegs we've got. Right now I have 789 kegs in total. I'm only using about 779 um, for starfruit. Maybe I'm crazy. Pro probably. What's up, Andrew Hetzel? All right, so right now we have 779. Let's, 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 let's play it safe and say 775. Every starfruit wine that comes out is 3150. So we go 775 times 3150 is 2.4 million. So if we look at the calendar, whoops, that's not the calendar. If we look at the calendar, today is the sixth of winter. Bam, so it's right here, let's say. So from right now to the end of the game, like basically, even if, like some kegs are done right now, right? Some kegs are done right now. Even if I ignore them, I let all the kegs finish. That means that next week I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have made two and a half million. The week after is two and a half million. That's five. The week after is two and a half million. That's seven and a half. Uh, but minus three hundred thousand, let's say, so seven point two. However, I currently right now have five point four, four point five. So, with that, with all the extra crops I'm going to be selling, um, I'm going to make 100,000 just on the wine I have in the casks in the basement. Um, I should be fine. And I might even have enough money to buy the Return Scepter. Which, I mean, will I at this point? I don't know. So, I think I'm going to be okay. We've hit 14 hearts with Maru, so that's good. Uh, let's just make sure we talk tomorrow so we don't lose any friendship with her. Sorry, supposed to get lost. Thought don't know what I'm doing. Hug and hug and kiss. All right, so let's um, start refilling some kegs right now. So, so based on that number, I mean, do I even need to make any more kegs? I don't think I do. Like, I don't think that. I need to make more kegs to finish this challenge, to complete this challenge successfully. Must remember to watch the TV tomorrow, though. If I miss a recipe, it's going to be pretty sad if I get this far in and I miss a recipe and I lose, I lose because I missed a recipe. That's going to be sad, boys. All right, what do we have here? Oh, is there more stuff I can throw in the... I can't do anything with rare crows. And those are all rare crows. I could do... Um, I think what I might do... Hold on, what are my list of things to do, say? So I was going to make kegs and do more skull cavern runs. The greenhouse is ready. House wine and, wine and farm wine. So I think what I might do is... Um, there's a couple of cutscenes we haven't seen yet. Um, so I might do some cutscenery. Maybe I'll do some geodes as well, because that'll make me a bit of money. Let's throw this, uh, those guys in there. Caroline sent me a cauliflower. Thank you, Caroline. Selling that. Um, she's gonna s I'll hang on to the crystal fruit. I'll sell the th those 30 star fruit wine. Yes, this is the question is, do I want to make more kegs. I don't need to. I think I'm going to anyways. I don't need to, but um, I don't think that... I mean, it, it'll still make money. It'll still make me money. That's the thing, right? Like... 
it will still make money for me to do that. Even if, like I say, even at this point, even if I'm buying all the resources I need to make them, it's still going to be, it's, it's still going to be positive. It's still going to be a net gain at the end of it all. So, I think just to be safe, just to make sure I don't screw this up, I think I will uh, keep making kegs. Maybe not quite so desperately fast, but... I mean, I've got... Wait, what do I have now? 13 oak resin? Need some more copper, but yeah, I mean, I and some more wood. Hmm. It's gonna be sad to spend this money at this point, but... Like I say, it'll still be... Ultimately, it'll still be worth it, so... Apparently, I left one of those guys there. Alright, so let's sell... Cherries, mangoes, bananas, largemouth, bass, roe, 11 more starfruit wine. Great. And then once we get closer to the end, I'm just going to start selling like all these iridium bars, um, whatever, all that stuff can go. So, what am I short on? I'm super short on wood right now, and what will come as a surprise to absolutely nobody, because wood is definitely the problem for me right now. Uh, let's throw some coffee in the... Coffee cake. Uh, drop that one there. We've got snakes. I brought one of those. Not sure why I have a desert totem on me. I'm sure there's a good reason for that. Oh, ah, there we go. Oh, and I should also put in this, uh, that guy. Ancient fruit. Okay, that'll do for now. Okay, uh, maybe I will check the course. So it's nine o'clock. Um, there's something. I think there's a cutscene I have with. There's a couple cutscenes I have left. Um, one of them is with Abigail, and one of them's with Elliot. I'm also missing. Um, well, one of them is with Pam, the Pam Nine Heart cutscene, but I don't think you get that cutscene until you upgrade her house, which I'm probably not going to do. So let me just see if uh, we can get this Elliot cutscene right here. Nope. How does that work? Hold on a second. <laughs> let me look this up. I was just looking. I was looking at the checkup, and I'm looking at the social tab. So we have some cutscenes with Maru that we don't have yet. I can't remember what I have to do to get those ones. Yeah, so we're married, Max, this can still decay. That's a problem. Uh, Abigail, we haven't seen Abigail's eight heart. We haven't seen Elliot's eight hearts. And this Jazz and Vincent eight heart can't happen in winter. So we're just, that one's just not going to happen. Um, and there's a nine heart for Pam, but like I say, I think, and I will just confirm this. I believe nine hearts, part of the community upgrade. There we go. Uh, which isn't going to happen. So, at least not until I have the golden clock. Uh, so Elliot's eight heart is between 1 and 7 p.m. So visit the museum between 1 and 7 p.m. Abigail's eight heart is go into Pierre's between 8 and 10 p.m. when she's there. All right. So we'll come back to that. Um, I don't really want to do... Che Why do I have another ancient fruit? What did I just... Ah, oh, crap. What did I just put in the... What did I put in that keg? That's a problem. Okay, let me... Maybe I'll see if I can get a little bit of... A uh, bit of copper right now, real quick. Just to see if I can... Oh, mother muffin. <sighs> it's only one... Oh, just, never mind. I was going to say, there's only one baddie. And there's even a ladder, so I'll go. But I'm not happy about it. Alright. I should really be eating crab cakes. Oh, my animation canceling is not on. There we go. Copper. Oh yeah, I got a little bit. Ooh, and, and an aquamarine. Sweet. Ooh, and some iron. The good news is the geodes won't take me any time. I'm tempted just to go buy. Honestly, I'm tempted just to buy everything. Didn't look at the luck today either. I have no idea what the luck is. Uh, 
Oh, I, was, I was just thinking when I heard their rock crap sound, I'm like, oh crap, I gotta finish the the Monster Slayer goal. No, I don't have to finish the Monster Slayer. We've finished the Monster Slayer already, which is awesome. Any copper here? Nah. What do we have? Nothing. All right, well, how much? Oh, I got a few, got a few bars. A few bars worth. I'm gonna leave that one there, move that one down. Three of those in there. Uh, I may as well just leave the ore. So it's gonna give me five more kegs. Cause I could put an ancient fruit in one of those. Um, I have no idea what I put in that keg in the house. I thought I put the ancient fruit in there. No clue. All right, let's keep going. Oh, let's start at five, actually. Let's not start at five. Let's start at one. Technically, copper can still spawn, right? So, no, wait, copper cannot spawn on level one, though. Forgot about that. But ancient fruit goes bad. You'd think ancient fruit would have gone bad in ancient times. Here we go. Give me that copper. I'll probably have to go buy some wood. I should make sure I swing by Robins and uh, buy some wood because the wood the wood issue the wood thing is going to be a lot harder. It's a lot harder to get thirty wood than it is to uh, open the container passes out from the smell. It's a lot harder to get wood than it is to get ores. Remember one time I was watching this um this thing, this show or whatever on Egypt, and they were opening a some sort of tomb or whatever they were opening. I don't know if it was like an actual. It wasn't a pyramid. It was like just a tomb or something. But it was like a tomb of somebody who had lots of fancy things in their tomb. And um, one of the guys was like. And they, what they were doing is, in order to preserve the stuff they were extracting, they pulled the air from the tomb as well to have it in these enclosed things so they could extract stuff and not... Um, they could pull the stuff out and, you know, it wouldn't immediately decompose in the modern air kind of thing. And so the guy's like, hey, I wonder what this smells like. So we kind of like open the valve a little bit to let some of the air escape um, from the air that they were extracting, let some of the air escape. And he was just like, smells old. Uh, all right, what do we have? We've got five. Let me make five kegs. Boop. Um, let, my inventory is pretty full. We'll come back and get those other five kegs here in a bit. That's not what I want to do at all. Let's go back to the mines. We're just going to go see Robin and just buy a bunch of wood. At least a little bit. How many? I've got 47. I can make one keg. I, need to, I want to be able to make eight more. So I need 240. I've got four. I need to buy, buy a couple hundred wood. I still have, I think, about a week. Um, 100, 200, nice. I have about a week still to buy, um, to buy, to buy materials. After that point, because basically, like I say, right now, if I were to just buy everything I need for for a keg, that would cost me. Um, 4,750 bucks. So, hmm. Just realized I'm running out of time here. I was going to do geodes today. All right, let me just find a place to put 10 kegs. Okay. I have no C crap. I'm not gonna make a C clint. Um, let me sell some stuff. Uh, sell the seeds. Sell the crocus. Sell the rice shoots. Let me just leave a few things behind, like the stone. Uh, the lightning rods, the acorns. My inventory is going to be pretty full. I don't want to take no tools, though. Um, 
Not gonna need the food. Maybe I could, I could buy a bit of, uh, no, I don't need to buy any copper. That's right, okay. I'm gonna leave this behind. I'm gonna leave the fiber, leave that warp totem. And I'll even leave the, uh, no, I should keep the coal on me. This is probably fine. Finds durian fruit in a tomb, double checks mask filters. <laughs> Ugh, can you imagine? <clears throat> I mean, I mean, that, then again, it's not like the durian can smell any worse than it does. All right, so town. Clint, I missed the door. Boop. All right, process geodes. I don't even know what I'm gonna get at this point. Maybe I should. Should I double check? Does it matter? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it doesn't matter. Let me see if I'm gonna get anything interesting from these geodes here. Let's look at the predictor. If it was like a prismatic or something, I would take that. Um. So from an omni, I'm not seeing. I don't even. <clears throat> I don't even see any iridium. There's like not a lot going on. There's like one iridium ore right there. Onion garbage. There are some things I can Im I imagine smelling worse. Um, yeah, there's there's nothing. There's a little bit of iridium, but it's really not worth doing. I don't see anything beyond that. So <clears throat> let's get these guys correct. Well, my apparently I just hit puberty. My voice is shot. Hold on, one sec. Okay, I think I'm good. No, I'm not. <clears throat> okay, am I good now? Might be a little bit. <clears throat> nope, I'm not. Okay, you know what? My voice is just going to be raspy tonight, that's all. Uh, so, funny story. Oh, I think I got it. So, funny story about um, garbage. One of the things that I've been taking to doing, taking to do, one of the things I've taken to do, taking, taking, one of the things I've, so I'll tell you what I do, is I just pour baking soda in the garbage. We buy, like, ma huge quantities of baking soda, because I cook with a lot of garlic and onion and whatever, um, and so to keep our garbage from complete, being completely rank, I'll just, um, whenever I put something smelly in the garbage, I just, like, pour some baking soda. Nice ingredients, thanks. Um, so I pour some baking soda in, and, um, it's great. It really, I mean, it doesn't completely eliminate the smell. The, the closer you are to, um, um, the actual smell-inducing thing, like, if you can pour the baking soda right on the garlic or you know, the garlic leftover bits are right on the if you have cooking with meat or something like that that gets that kind of goes around it um it helps but it's it's pretty sweet actually it really works two-thirds like garlic in my house yeah i've really taken to to cooking with garlic we, we always just keep i never really cooked with garlic before um diane kind of got me into it and now I just like so now we just keep cloves handy, and then we have a little garlic press, and then whenever uh, um, we want some garlic, just bam, we got fresh garlic. It's pretty sweet. I'm really, really grown to appreciate cooking with fresh ingredients. So like instead of cooking with garlic powder, cook with garlic, or instead of cooking with onion powder, cook with onion, or whatever. Um, it's been pretty great. There we go. Next batch. <clears throat> uh, even hidden among other flavors, Dad still can't even digest garlic. Oof. Nasty. Yeah, I've been trying to... I have really very much lost the ability to digest certain foods. <laughs> like dairy. Um, I don't digest dairy very well. But... Uh, so there are some foods I like try to make sure I keep eating so I can always eat them, like bread. <laughs> always make sure I eat bread. I never want to end up with like a wheat allergy or something or like a gluten allergy. So I make sure my body stays nice and used to, nice and familiar with gluten. Um, but even like some fruits and stuff, like I've noticed that like sometimes apples will bug me a little bit. 
so I gotta keep like make sure I eat apples every once in a while and just kind of keep like don't avoid certain types of foods for too long of a period of time because I did that with dairy and now I struggle with dairy so um, um, so yeah I try to make sure I keep certain things introduced to myself I like nuts I do I do rather enjoy a cashew I'll take mine roasted and salted, please. <laughs> so, uh, funny story. I am... Um, I've been, t been sharing about my quest to... I guess control my weight is what I, is the phrase I should use. Uh, so, today's Wednesday, so today is uh, the weigh-in day. Gummy candies I enjoyed before, now the tongue says no to flavors in question. Um, yeah, I can't handle sugar like I used to. I definitely can't handle sugar like I used to. Um, now I'm quite happy if things are less sweet or less powerfully sweet or, like, whatever, but... Um, I believe it, yeah. Not that that's a bad thing, don't get me wrong, but I definitely try to not eat as much sugar as I once did. Um... Anyway, yeah, so the, so the weight thing. So I weighed myself today. So I, I weighed myself last week. And last week I was... I had, I was up. How'd that work? Uh, last week... Shop. Sorry, I can't sell and explain my weight stories at the same time. And next batch. 39. We're getting close. Um, so yeah, last week I was down a little bit. Um, actually, I'll just tell you. Last week I was down, but it was because it was because I just lost muscle mass. So we have one of those fancy scales that measures all your stuff, it measures your body fat and everything else. Um, so last week, not only did I gain 0.7 of a kilogram, um, my body fat percentage went up. So I gained weight, but I I. I gained muscle mass, but I ended up gaining. It was mostly fat. What basically what it came down to was I lost muscle mass, but gained weight. <laughs> I lost muscle mass, but gained weight. It was sad. Um, this week, happily, I'm down almost a full kilo, which is fantastic. Uh, body fat also dropped back to pre-fat levels or from a couple weeks ago. Um, but even though I lost 0.9 of a kilogram, apparently... I also lost 0.6 of a kilogram in muscle. So I'm like, how am I exercising more and losing muscle mass? So I'm not exactly sure what the margin of error is for this scale. I don't know if uh, um, it has a particular margin of error where it's like, okay, if you're within X number of percent, it could go either way. Um, I mean, the weight is the weight, and my weight is down, so I guess that's good. Um, I would like to definitely lose some more fat. But but yeah, it's been uh, it's been it's been an adventure. So we'll see how next week we'll see how next week goes. Fish smell used to be worse for me. I don't mind fish, but I guess in small quantities. Like I'm just thinking, you know, growing up near fish markets and stuff, the smell of fish was always. I never minded the smell of fish, but um, if I had to like. I was going to say, if I had to work in a fish market, I'd probably get sick of it pretty fast, but at the same time, um, you'd probably get used to it if you worked in a fish market all the time, but anyways, okay, let's see if we can get this cutscene with, uh, with Elliot. Here we go. Second to last cutscene we're going to see. Uh, not counting Mara's cutscenes. Never mind. Paul, you made it. I feel so relieved to be done with my book. It's like an elephant's been lifted off my shoulders. Well, I better get started with the reading. Wish me luck. So glad I didn't marry Ellie, I'm not gonna lie. Good afternoon, everyone. 17 years old, almost couldn't eat my meal beside a lady who ordered some fish. This was on a cruise. Ever since I was a young boy, I've dreamt of becoming a writer. When the time came for me to leave home and start my own life, I moved here. I was drawn to the peaceful beauty of the valley and hoped that days of quiet reflection in this idyllic atmosphere would fan the literary flames. 
After countless hours scribbling at my writing desk, I present to you my first novel, The Rise and Fall of Planet Yazo. It's a sci-fi epic spanning thousands of years in an exotic planetary system. Chapter 1 Commander Yutkin stepped through the golden archway as the airlock snapped shut behind him. Today was his first day on planet Yazo, and all 14 of the Alliance delegates had been summoned to the Grand Spire. Apparently, even the emergency vehicle going by doesn't want uh, Elliot to finish this book. Fabiola. Uh, right? And as the seventh moon descended beneath the horizon, the planet of Yazo would begin its sinister transformation, an event for which Commander Yutkin was completely unprepared. Well, that concludes my reading. I'll be selling signed copies of the book by the front desk. Thanks for listening. What's funny is that, um... I mean, everyone here should kind of, like, glazed over, but... Um... Was it... Okay, hold on. I need to make sure I don't... I'm not, I need to make sure I don't say the wrong thing. Okay. Um... But what's funny is that, like... He's like, oh, I'm going to sign the book. It's like, dude, you, we know you. We live in town. Like, I've never had anybody who knew me ask me for an autograph. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think I've signed two autographs in my life. Maybe, maybe three, but I can't remember the third. You and me, old enough to remember when some older celebrities look younger and more fit. Um, anyways, yeah, the people that I signed autographs for, they didn't know me, so. Thanks. You know, I got the idea for making a sci-fi book from you. Do you remember? No. That's why I've dedicated this book to you. Thanks, Elliot. Alright, there's Elliot's cutscene. Let's head back to the house. Uh, we're going to finish making the coffee for the day. Let's head back to the mines. I grabbed those... I grabbed those already? Let's throw three more of those in. Oh, I guess I may as well put this iron in as well. Uh, I'm just going to quickly check the quarry, make sure nothing exciting is happening. Okay, back to the house. Let's get make sure these kegs are full of starfruit. Let's finish getting the coffee dealt with. Probably do the coffee first, actually. And I can redo my inventory as well, so let me grab... Oh, not sure why I need that. don't think I'm going to go to the desert today. Why do I have so much stone here? Uh, so let's do this. That can go there. That can go there. That can go down there. I might just sell some of the stone. What am I going to do with 2,000 stone right now? I might just sell 1,000 of it. Okay, before I do anything else, let's get this coffee going. Um... No idea what's in, the, what's in the other keg, but anyways. Okay, um... Let's throw another one of these guys in here. I did, did I put stuff in these kegs? I did not. Let's go grab some star fruit. Okay, get coffee started in here. Part of me just wants to skip days at this point, like... Because honestly, I still need the recipes. Um, but, I mean, really, there's not a whole lot else going on, but I'm still a little paranoid about the money situation. You know, until I actually have it in the bag, I'm not going to be satisfied. It's going to be a little bit too scary. So, so, but because I'm, I'm confident enough, I'm not going to, um, do any more... Only a little. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the... I will continue chopping down trees, but I probably won't try to regrow them, is what it comes down to. Um, I'm not going to like go out of my way to get to make tree fertilizer or anything like that. There's Abigail. Oh, actually, we're pretty close to... Wait, where, where, where am I supposed to go see Abigail? I think it's between 8 and 10, isn't it? Um, 8 and 10 p.m., yep. Yeah. And then Maru, we've got to get the 14 heart uh, thingies. 
Enter the farmhouse. Oh, here we go. So part one, enter the farmhouse between 6, 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. on a non-Sunday, non-winter day. So I can't get Maru's cutscenes. Um, huh, okay. And then the ones for... Oh, they, can I do the... I mean, maybe I was confusing that one for the um, Jazz and Vincent uh, cutscenes. Because uh, Jazz and Vincent have a shared eight heart event, but it enters intercept during spring. So that's it. That we literally, there's no more cutscenes we can watch. Well, Abigail. Other than that, there are no more cutscenes we can watch. The cutscenes are done. So, a quick look around for any trees that have grown. There are none. Like, I don't really want to walk all the way back to the farm and then come back here to get Abigail's cutscenes. I might just wait around for till 8 p.m. Maybe I'll go and grab some more copper or something. How's, how's my coal situation? 23. It's not great. That is not great. That's okay. I'm not super worried about the coal, honestly. We can... Mega bomb. Worth it. Eventually, artifact trove. Nice, and I just dealt with all my geodes. Um, eventually, I will go back to the skull caverns just for funsies, just to try and get more uh, try and get more stuff. I'm trying to not use triple shot right now. I'm trying to make that not a thing that I do. Anything? Ugh. Okay, I can make one more. Every little bit helps. Alright, let's go see Abigail. If I'm walking at the speed by the time I get down there, it should be 8 p.m. Or close. Close to it. Uh, Abigail? Are you going back to your house? Ooh! Wait a second. It says visit between 8 and 10 p.m. when she's there. Uh, she may not be there today. Grab you. What the heck? Another one. What the heck? Ooh, a chipped amphora. <laughs> that one artifact that I ended up getting from an artifact trove. She here? Nope. Crap. Alright, never mind. Let's go back to the house. Put another lightning rod in the recombobulator, or whatever it's called. Recon reconstitutor, re deconstructor, that's what it's called. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we can sell some stuff, though. Let's sell the topaz. Oh, I forgot to put this. I was going to put the iridium ore in the thing. Earth crystal, and that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Uh, sell the clay. Get to sell a thousand stone, because what am I going to do with it? And let's go and deal with the remaining cafe. Redeems more winter. Okay. Uh, that can go in there. Uh, this, hey, these hazelnuts can go. I'm gonna sell those. I wonder if I can... Will I maintain... I have three more kegs I can make. I should really do that right now. Um, I wonder if I can maintain... I'm hoping I can maintain friendship. I should check. Can I maintain friendship with your spouse without giving them gifts once you're actually married. Um, once a villager, they'll move in. They'll have a maximum of 14. Keeping them happy will result in them helping around the farm. Um, you can give a gift once a day. Oh, it is, it is 12 and a half hard to get a star drop. That was 13. Oh, well. Either way, we got it. Um, spouse rooms, exhaustion. Guessing your spells will remove exhaustion. Sweet. Um, messy house, jealousy. 
If you give a gift that is not hated to one of the other marriage candidates when you are already married, there's a chance your spouse will become jealous. This only happens if the villager receiving the gift has already accepted a bouquet from you and is of the same gender as your spouse. Okay. You get 30 friendship point penalty in the given... Wow. So, <laughs> it's funny because um, KT Marine did a challenge where she was trying to date everybody. So I wonder if she encountered the jealousy thing. Uh, divorce. The, so the problem with divorce, which I would do, because um, it only costs 50 grand, but the problem is you have to visit the witch's hut, which can erase all ex-spouse's memories for an offering of 30,000. But I think if you do that, their hearts return to zero. Um, yeah, so occasionally a spouse's heart meter will drop overnight by approximately two hearts for reasons that are completely unknown. That's a little scary. Um, so let's check the friendship. I just want to make sure I'm not going to screw this up here. Uh, romance, I guess. All right, what'd you read? Eight hearts to give a bouquet. Connect nine, ten. What'd you read? Ten hearts to give a mermaid's pendant. Um, it's worth a laugh that places with higher temperature don't necessarily understand the conditions needed to produce maple syrup. After you've moved in, I mean, with the villager, they get 14 hearts. Where does it talk about decay? Uh, decay. Marriage doesn't stop decay with your spouse. Oh, okay, so that's all it is. It's just, oh, but you decay at 20 per day. Wow. So I just need to make sure I keep talking with her, but I don't have to give her gifts. Okay, that's what I needed to know. That was the important thing. Uh, okay, so let's put these guys in here. Got a bit of star fruit. Let's make the last three kegs I can make. And get these kegs out here. So happy. This I, I'm really like starting to feel good about this now. Starting to feel like, you know what? Yeah, this, this is, is actually going to work, Paul. You can stop freaking out. Things are going to be okay. Alright, so. Uh, tomorrow when game, gotta watch the TV. What other tasks do I have? The 7th? I don't have anything pressing until the 13th. I get the quest from Willie to take him a link card. Um, so maybe I'll... Uh, yeah, there isn't really a whole lot to do. I mean, I could keep making kegs, I guess. And then, uh... Maybe we'll do a Skull Cavern run or something. Got a feeling that's gonna be a good night. Yeah, I'll have to decide when I want to actually end the challenge, because... There will come a time, there comes a time in every Stardew player's life where you approach the end of a challenge run. I'm going to sell some more stone. Um, and there's nothing left to do. So I'm not sure... Because um, I, I could start skipping days as long as I keep talking tomorrow every day. Um, and even if I do miss a day of talking to her, I'll just give her a, a, a gold bar the next day and that will get me the friendship back, right? So, um, just doing a quick tree check here while I'm heading up to the mines. Whoops. Um, so, there's, I mean, there's going to come a point where it's like, I'm just waiting for money or waiting for recipes. Um... So I, I'm probably going to start skipping days at some point. I'm just not, not quite prepared to do it yet. Okay, we're a little low on coal. I'm just going to throw that out. Uh, maybe I'll throw these uh, iridiums in. And the gold can stay there as well. At some point, I'm going to want to smelt that gold as well. Uh, um, Actually, hold on. Maybe I don't. Um, Let me check... Gold. So gold ore. Sorry, gold bars. Gold bars sell for two fifty. 
unless you're the blacksmith profession. Am I the blacksmith profession? I'm not. So, sure thing, gold member. Gold member. Uh, so, it sells for 250, but coal in year two. Um, cost two fifty. So, it's not worth me buying. It's not worth me buying coal to smelt gold bars. It's worth me buying coal still to make kegs, but it's not worth me buying coal to smelt anything. And how enough Bond movies were open for parodies? It's true. I remember one time when I was got old. I remember like you know watching a lot of James Bond movies as a kid and stuff. And when I got older, I, I basically went through and watched a bunch of the old James Bond movies again. And there were things that were like, I mean, there were you know we're talking about movies from the '60s. It was a different time, so there were things that were definitely like. Ooh, is that they do that back then? That's good situation. Um, but I remember, like, I always really liked the Rod when I was a kid. I always really liked the Roger Moore films, but then when I watched them again as an adult, I'm like, nah, now now I'm all I'm all Sean Connery all the time. So partly because it's the original, obviously, and it's just too bad that. Um, they took so long to let Pierce Brosnan be Pierce Brosnan be James Bond because, I mean, he was fantastic. But by the time they let him be James Bond, he was already he was pretty old. He wasn't that old, but he was like an old Bond. I preferred more in Connery over Dalton. Yeah, Timothy Dalton was a bit of a disaster. Let's just say I like Timothy Dalton more in Hot Fuzz than I liked him as James Bond. All right, so it's midnight. Let's go to bed. Leave that stuff to smell for tomorrow. So tomorrow I may swing by Clint's again. Um, actually, hmm, I'm trying to decide if I want to um, do a Skull Cavern run. Or if I want to just go to Clint's and buy some ore. Or both. Um... I think I might just plant trees on the farm, now that I think about it. There's no reason I could just plant a bunch of trees here, like why would, why would I plant them somewhere else? Why well, I'll just plant them here. Um, so yeah, I think that I'll probably... Maybe just do a Skull Cavern run. Um, that might be the play, just because, like... I won't want to have to buy as much. 138,000. We are getting there. We are getting there. All right, Queen of Sauce. I can make a poppy seed muffin now. What's the luck today? Mildly bad luck. Uh, trying to not look at the fridge, trying to kiss my wife. Hello? There we go. All right. Oh, we need some, uh, what should we call it? Bond and sexist women, sexist women names. Yeah, some of the stuff you look at and you go like, okay, it was definitely a product of its time. Um, but yeah, some of that stuff was pretty, pretty cringeworthy. Now here's a problem. I still want to make these kegs as well. Um, But I need wood. So maybe I should just go see Robin and buy a bunch of wood. Well, I don't want to overbuy though. I should check in here, make sure no star fruit's done. Nope. Because uh, what do we have? I can make 11 if I had the copper. I can get the copper uh, and a bit of iron. Not worried about that. I think I actually have some smelting. The wood is a problem though. Oh, and Poppy Seed Muffin. Whoops, should probably go make that right now while I'm thinking about it. 
I should have everything I need. There we go. Lovely. All right. Poppy seed muffin. Bam! There's literally two recipes left. And those two quests are just going to happen in time. So good. So, so good. So for a tomato. So bruschetta and shrimp cocktail. We're just going to verify that we have everything we need. Bread, oil, and tomato. And tomato, shrimp, and horseradish. So I need bread, oil, and tomato, and tomato, shrimp, and horseradish. We are good. I don't need a coconut for anything anymore. What do I have? A oh, no, I need the coconut for that. Link cod for that. I don't need this iridium bar. I don't need this battery. I don't really need the ginger. I don't need that much sugar. I won't sell the sugars. Yeah, maybe I'll leave the ginger here, too. And I have nothing in this fridge. Excellent. So I do need a bunch of wood. What to do about that? Um. Hmm. I could just wait. I could just wait. Go buy the wood from what's her face from Robin. Actually, wait a second. The thought occurs to me. Yeah, let's just go buy the wood from Robin right now, because I can get into our house right now. I forgot about that. I have the key to the city, so I can get into houses early. And at this point, hopefully, she'll already be, or she'll be close to her, to her desk thingy, her counter. The heck is Robin? There's Demetrius. Okay, maybe we'll try and catch Robin a few minutes early. Oh, here she comes. So I'll kind of try and catch her on the way by as soon as she gets in range. And, uh... There we go. Shop. Alright, so I need to get... Uh, we can make 11, that's 330. I need to get 321. 200... 321. Bam. Beautiful. Thank you, Robin. All right. Let's head back to the... I'll stop by the mine. Um, I'll pick up whatever... Um, bars I have ready. Hmm. Just copper. Oh, that's good, actually. I can make four straight up. Excellent. So I can make seven more. That's, that's not going to be a problem. I only need two bars of iron. I don't have enough. Oh, yeah, I do. What if I just get it right now? Should I just get it now and make it? Maybe I will. I only need, like, six more iron ore. Let's go grab it. Let's go find six iron ore. It's kind of not great luck, but... Even with bad luck, I should be able to find six iron without too much trouble. Assuming I get a ladder. We'll go to the desert. We'll go. We'll do a Skull Cabin run. Um, you know, later. There, I got one. I got, got one iron ore. I need five more. Oh, there's. Oh, I got a piece of coal. It's worth it. Uh, any iron? There's some iron. What did we get? We got four. I need one more piece of iron. Hey, what's up, Yahoo boy? How's it going? It's going pretty well, actually. I think I'm going to be able to pull this off. According to my calculations, I should be good to go. Everything should be attainable. So figure that out uh, after last stream. Just doing some numbers. So I guess I assume my numbers are correct. Assuming I didn't completely screw the pooch and didn't mess up, mess up, mess up, mess up my numbers, I should be fine. Really want a ladder. There's a ladder. Here we go. This is what I need. That's probably fine. I'm just going to leave the other one. All right. Leave the mine. Sue. Let's put this stuff in. Bam. Now I need... What did you calculate? Like three more harvests? Well, basically, with the number of kegs I have right now, um, I'll make seven... 
point two million gold, and I have four and four point six now. So that will put me over the ten that I need. Um, hopefully, I have. Yeah, and I should have enough. I should have. I should hit ten million before, like long before the end of the month. Basically, I have seven hundred and something odd kegs. With three more harvests, I will get uh, in this game. That will for sure be seven and a half mil. That will put me well over ten million. So it might be like in the last week I get the golden clock, but I should still be able to get it. Right now, though, I need twenty-one more copper ore. All right, let's go find some copper. It is a bad luck day. Oh, there's a bunch. Wouldn't that be awesome if this was enough copper right here? Sweet, it's enough. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. All right, so let's get these kegs. Uh, let's get these guys smelting. Then before I go to bed in the game tonight, I will uh, make sure that we have... I need ten more. Uh, ten more iron. I need seven bars, not five. So I need nine more copper. I mean, sorry, I need nine, nine more copper. So we got lucky, but not quite lucky enough. Anything else over there I care about? No, not really. Does that mean return scepters in the agenda? To be honest with you, I probably could. I could probably get away with a return scepter. Um. I'm still going to wait and just kind of make sure that I have... Can I make, like, one more bar? Make sure that I have enough for, uh... That golden clock. The golden clock is the next purchase, let's say that. But I'll probably pick up the, the return scepter just, just for fun uh, at some point. All right, can I make any more? Yes, I can make five more. There we go. Cannot remember when I put the iron in smelt, so no idea when that's going to finish. Um, that's okay. So, maybe I'll swing home real quick. Yeah, maybe I'll... S hmm. No, because I want to put the, these kegs down. Because if I can get the kegs refilled, I mean, if I, even if I pass out in the mine, who cares? So, let's think about that. Sell that, sell that, uh, sell those, why not? Um, <clears throat> okay, stuff I'm going to leave here. Um, I should take the jades with me, actually. Leave that behind. Uh... Because I could leave those guys behind. Put the crystal fruit over here. Fiber can stay here. That's going to get consumed. That's going to get consumed. Let's take the coal with me. doesn't matter. That can go with me. That's just getting put down and getting filled. I've got two more kegs coming. Oh, there's another jade. Triple shot just ran out. Don't really care. You know what, There's, let's do this. I don't have to come back in the house. Let's just take the... Yeah, it's 11. thought it was more than that. Oh, well, whatever. Sweet. Alright, let's go see if my iron's done. It's 1pm. It, the problem is I spent so much time, like, just faffing about during the day that... I was going to do a skull cavern run today, but it's already 1pm. Like, I mean, I probably still will, just just because, but... Whoops. All right, so I can make the... Oh, hmm, I thought I had... Weird. I thought I had more... Um... Oak crescent than that, but apparently not. All right, so we'll put these down. Put some star fruit in them. Then we'll head to the desert. And I'll just leave the bars here too, I guess. Why not? All right, let's go do some deserting just for funsies. 
Oh, I guess I could probably take a triple shot now, just to speed things up a little bit. Oh, it's Sunday. I could trade for, uh, I could trade my jades for staircases. Uh, now here's a question. So jade sells for 200. You can use jade to trade for staircases. Doesn't actually explain that on the jade page, but let's look at the desert trader page. Uh, so at this point, I could have just looked at the staircase page. I wouldn't remember. So then that sells, you can't sell it. So I probably shouldn't make any more staircases. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. I'll keep the jades. Um, do I want luck? I guess I do kind of want luck, don't I? Grab a couple of spicy eel. You can deconstruct for 99 stone. Oh. So how much does 99 stone sell for? That would sell for like, oh, it's 200. So still worth it to sell the jades. So yeah, we're gonna hang on to the jades for now. 198, yeah. No. 198. Right, yeah, that's right, 198. Yeah. So yeah, J still sells for more, so we'll hang on to the J's for now. Um, I will take a couple spicy eel. I guess I'll take some other food stuff, so I got my poppy seed muffin. I will take some oil of garlic. Take these guys. Oh, what the heck, let's take all the food, why not? It wouldn't be a Paul run if I didn't have way too much food in my inventory. <laughs> It just that just wouldn't be me. What going to the skull cavern properly prepared, not overdoing the. Oh, sure about my axe. That's a tree there. Um, oh, you know what I should have done. I gotta remember to do that next time. I gotta remember to use the desert. Um... Nice. Gotta remember to use the desert for uh, for my tree farm next time. That is a way better idea. Oh, spicy eel. Uh, right there. All right. It is mildly bad luck, so it's gonna be a bit of a grind, but that's all right. I'm just here for here for the lulls. It's gonna be funny if I die, and it's gonna be hilarious. It's going to be the funniest thing ever if I die. Oh, we got some iron. Another uh, miner's treat. Crystal shoes, hey? Three and five? Nah. Grab this diamond. See some more iron. Guess we'll grab that while we're here. Grab that. Probably gonna end up just trashing a lot of this stuff, but that's okay. You know what? I have a gold trash can. I wonder if I should... Whoops. Um, should I upgrade my trash can? Is that worth doing? I don't know if that's worth doing. I don't know. I mean, I could. I'm pretty sure I have the... Uh, the iridium bars and stuff. So I could easily upgrade the trash can. Just think about that. Psych! I don't know. I don't know if I can upgrade the trash can or not. Um, I mean, it's... Like I say, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have enough money to do whatever I want to do. So I could upgrade it just for funsies. Just to make throwing stuff out slightly more tenable. What hesitation to upgrade it? Um, just if I want to spend the money. Although, like I say, I don't think money is going to be an issue for me anymore, so... Yeah, I guess I probably could. If money's not going to be an issue, what do I care? Like, I'm going to, I'm going to have enough revenue as long as I don't blow it all on... Um... As long as I don't blow it all on, uh... Oh, there's coal over here. I want that. 
on resources to make kegs I don't need. And I won't, because like I say, I still have a, I know that I can still make kegs for the next week, or I can still buy kegs for the next week without, and still make money in the end. So, coffee. Yeah, so I, I guess, yeah, I guess I, I mean, I may as well, right? Like, it'll make the Skull Cavern runs a bit more, um, attractive in terms of, like, knowing that, oh, okay, my inventory's full, no problem, just trash stuff and you'll, you'll at least make some of the money back, right? So, yeah, well, then maybe I will. Maybe I'll stop by Clint's tomorrow and take him some, some Ridium. Take him some Ridium bars. Oops, missed. So we were playing pickleball last night. Um, that's why I didn't stream. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we have had a lot of fires in British Columbia this uh, this summer, and uh, so any day that the smoke clears, is we were trying to get outside. So last yesterday was was like super clear, super nice. Um, so we got out and played some pickleball, and uh, oh boy, was I bad. <laughs> Like, I mean, I'm not a great pickleball player at the best of times, but... Sweet mercy, it was, uh, it was a rough night, let me tell you. I was absolutely bringing shame to my family name last night. Alright, let's sell some of you, and sell you, and sell you, and sell you, and sell whatever, who cares? Find quartz. The province is on fire. Yeah, the province is pretty on fire, not gonna lie. In terms of fire, the province is definitely on it. Um, oh! Actually, no, that's fine, that's fine. I was just thinking the oil of garlic repels monsters as well. Um, like, how badly does it repel them? Apparently not badly enough. Just stood there and got hit. Fine, fine. All right, well, let's just go to the next level. Um, anyways, yeah, I was playing pickleball last night, and it completely, like, it was kind of depressing how bad I was. <laughs> like I say, I'm not very good at the best times, but, like, even for me last night, I just could not get myself together, because it's just, yeah. I spend so much time indoors that the occasional times I go outdoors, it's like, what is this strange, what is this strange blue thing I'm seeing? Oh, the sky, you say? Alright, it's fine. At least you're good at Stardew Valley. I mean, I'm no blade, but, you know, I get by. It was the best of times that were... Yeah, it was definitely the worst of times last night. I was pretty upset. And, like, when we're playing with other people, like, I'm trying to, you know, be positive and be encouraging and whatever. So, when other people are doing stuff, I'm like, hey, no, no, don't worry about it. You know, hey, it's a good try. And, oh, nice shot and everything. And, and then I'm sitting there just completely wetting the bed. And everyone's being super nice and being like, oh, you know, it was a good effort and whatever. And I'm just like... Yeah, it was bad. The point is that I hold myself to higher standards than I hold other people, I think that's what it comes down to. I think that's the lesson that uh, we could take away from that. Did I open the ladder? No? Oh, Alright. Maybe I could bomb that gold. Okay, we're bombing the gold. We're gonna bomb. Still nothing, man. Huh? Ooh, nice crit. Alright. I think what's... I think the worst part of it is that the, the older I get and the slower I get, it's kind of... That makes it more depressing, because I know at one point in my life I was... I had some quickness, and I wouldn't... I, I guess I was kind of fast when I was super young, but, like, even through my 20s I had some quickness. Like, I could change direction quickly and stuff back when I was playing basketball. Which is handy if you're playing basketball. I think you have to change directions quickly. Especially playing defense is very important. Um, is that a, is that a cr crab? No. Um, so now it's like my brain's telling me like, oh, hey, do this. And my body is going, no. My mind is telling me yes. But my body body is telling me no who anyways um I'll quit whining about <laughs> how out of shape I am now
Uh, Blade, thank you for the host. Did that just happen? I got a notification, but it didn't. It was weird. Anyway, thank you for the host if it was a host. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I will try to do, do the Blade name justice. It's going to be funny if I die. Uh, okay, anyways. Um, you're still in shape. I'm still in A shape, yep. I've actually been like... It's been depressing enough that I've actually started doing exercises to work on my quickness again, trying to get my muscles to be able to react a bit faster. And um, I need to eat some. Let's eat... Uh, let's eat a poppy seed muffin. Clear an inventory spot. Um, yeah, I've actually started doing like quickness exercises again. And... Uh, stuff the other part the other problem of course is that before i would play basketball through the winter and uh now now that my knees can't handle basketball anymore um i just don't think they can i'm having some knee problems i should probably get it checked out actually um, i don't know if it's like normal knee problems or if it's like i, I don't know if my knee problems are just like polyurethane shaped knee problems or if it's like Paul, you have something seriously wrong with your knees and knee problems. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't really have, I just don't really have a good way to exercise in the winter right now, so I need to, this winter I gotta come up with something to get some exercise. No calves here, never developed. Oof. And 40 surgeries later, I'll tell you better to get it checked than not. True story. Fortunately, I'm in talks with my shoulder. I'm actually in talks with a doctor who is actually has an interest in sports medicine. So maybe I'll ask him about that. It's just a consulting right now, but maybe I can like convince him to take me on as a case. Um, do I want the luck now? I think I still want the luck, actually. Yeah. Le Ooh, 11:20 p.m. Probably shouldn't have. Been oh well, whatever. Probably shouldn't have had a spicy eel right then. But you know what? Whatever. I've got lots. Um, did I not pick this up? Okay, well, let's throw away the sports. There we go. Uh, 11.30... Oh, I should get back and smelt. Does it matter? I don't think it matters. I'll just go... I'll just make sure I throw in some iron before I go to bed. And then... Uh, oh, there's some more radium over there. And then in the morning I can smelt some, uh, some whatchamacallit, copper. 36 and I can still willfully dislocate fingers, wrists, and shoulders at will. Good? Is that, I don't know if that's a good thing or if that's like, I mean, I guess if you're doing it at will, it's not bad. <clears throat> if you're doing it against your will, that's bad. Oh, check out the diamonds though. All right, 1210, I'll just kind of poke my nose around there. Ooh, a bit of iridium, I wouldn't mind that. All right, let's head home. Hit a couple rocks in case there's a ladder somewhere. At this point, it's not gonna make it any faster, so never mind. All right. So the oil of garlic, your skin ex exudes a pungent aroma. How'd you know I was a computer geek? Okay, so let's stack things that we know we don't want. Uh, although I'll keep some stone on me, just because why not? Let's drop the food off again. I still haven't eaten those mushrooms. That's uh, that's wild. Uh, drop the bombs off. Energy tonic that I still have. Um, anything else I want to leave behind? Crab cakes. And that should be good. All right. Um, do I still have kegs to make? No, I don't. I made all the kegs already. Uh, so I'll just swing by the mine. We'll throw in some iron, so I have iron for tomorrow. Oh, oops, I forgot to see Abigail. Oh, well. Uh, we'll throw in some iron. Didn't leave any in there. No, I did not. I'll leave that in there. I'll have to decide when I want to smelt those. 
Because how much do iridium bars sell for? Iridium, iridium bar. Sells for 1,000. Sweet, that's worth it. Okay, we'll do that sometime. And so we'll come back in the morning, we'll make some copper. Make whatever kegs. Oh, well, Abigail. <laughs> I was trying to see all the cutscenes. Unfortunately, I won't be able to because some of the cutscenes can only happen in spring. So I didn't get the um, the Jazz and Vincent Eight Heart cutscene. And uh, I have the 14 Heart Maru cutscenes that I'm not going to get because that doesn't happen until spring. So yeah, basically the one the Eight Heart cutscene with Abigail is the last cutscene. There's some kegs down there. The the eight heart with Abigail is the last cutscene I can even see on this run. Ooh. Okay, well, we'll be around a bit tomorrow because we're going to have kegs to do. So let me grab some of this. And again, I think the 14th just not, yeah, it's not till the 14th that the ginger island star fruit's done. So that will be enough star fruit to get me another round Yeah, this will actually work out really well, because if I fill the kegs tomorrow, they'll be done on the 14th. No, they um, And now it's springtime for Redacted. Um, they'll be done around the 14th, but I'll be, I will have brought the, the, the star fruit from, although I still have enough. Yeah, okay, I'm not worried about it. I was thinking, am I going to have enough star fruit here in this transition period to keep the kegs full? But yes, because I have enough star fruit in my inventory right there um, to refill all my kegs, and I have enough star fruit left way up there, the 957 up there, for the next round. So the star fruit I get from Ginger Island in a week's time is just bonus. See their producers? I have not seen their producers. Uh, why do I have this diamond on me? More to the point. Uh, so tomorrow, I believe I have to do the greenhouse as well. Um, so that. And again, next thing I have to worry about is the, uh, Willie's link on the thirteenth, which probably isn't even. Which probably isn't even going to happen this stream. Say that fast six times. You probably can't. I just just you mean they can't. All right. It's winter. What's up, Copper Fronts? Yes, it is winter. It is winter indeed, and what a winter it's turning out to be. Would would you not agree? <laughs> All right. How are you doing, Copper Fronts? Uh, do I care about any of this? Check the luck, I guess. Neutral luck. All right. Say hi to Maru. All right. Uh, let's do the greenhouse first. Right, mate. What about me? Uh, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Things are looking good for my run. Got outside yesterday, got a bit of exercise. You know, things are, uh, things are alright. Sandy, thank you. I'm just gonna leave that in here. Okay, so, triple shot. Now, how many kegs did I make today? That's the other thing I should look at. Let's see how much oak resin we get. That's eight. That's nine. Anything down here? Ooh, yes. How long have you guys been done? So that's 16? Oof. <laughs> um, I don't think I have enough of anything to do 16 kegs. Except oak resin. I mean, I don't have the wood, obviously. I have zero wood. But I don't think I have enough iron or copper either. So, I guess we'll pop over to the Skull Caverns again at some point. Um, 16, hey? So I've got enough to make um, 12, 13, 13 coppers, copper bars. Uh, should I do the quarry first? Yeah, actually, let's go to the quarry first. And I can swing by them before I go. Let me put some coffee in. Then we'll go to the quarry. We'll refill those. Ki no, then we'll swing by the mine. We'll put stuff in those ki furnaces. Not kegs, furnaces. Um, 
Oh, wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Uh, we'll put stuff in the furnaces, and then we will go to the quarry, refill those kegs, go back to the mine, put more stuff in the furnaces. Then we'll go wherever I said I was going to go. Uh, wherever that was. I had no idea. Uh, you know what I might do is just... Maybe I'll let these kegs out here? No. Here's what I'm going to do. Maru, so help me. Move! Alright. I'm just going to use... Do this. Put the coffee in these kegs. Just so it all finishes. There we go. Alright. Big day today. So this is going to be a big money day right here. And it's a festival. But it's the winter festival, so... Uh, I just won't go into Cindersap. So, first things first, we're going to the mine. That's what we're doing. Sure, probably. Oh, I gotta get my tools back on me, too. Um. Ooh, oh no! Festival day. Robin may be closed. Is she going to be walking by her counter? No! Can't buy any wood. So it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I can't make any cakes today. Because no trees are growing anywhere. I don't really have enough stuff to... Well, even if I could make... Um, even if I could make tree fertilizer is not going to help today. Um, so yeah. Oh well. Rip. Okay. Let us re refill these kegs. Missed one. Well, I'm just not controlling my mouse very well here. That all looks good. Alright. This, uh, this is a big one right here. This is big right here. This is going to be a lot of revenue. I'm expecting to make at least one and a half million from these kegs. A bunch of the kegs are out of sync, so... Um, um, I'm not going to make my full two and a half million, but I'm expecting to make at least one and a half million today. Probably like 1.7, 1.8. I'm trying to estimate conservatively. Um, so hopefully around there somewhere. And actually, if we go into the basement, the casks should be... They should be at silver quality by now? I think? They must be, because they have less than two weeks to get to gold quality, so... Um, and they are going to get to gold quality before the end of the run, so... That's going to be worth... Whatever that is, 100,000 or something. Every little bit helps. You know what I always do? I always do this the wrong way. I always forget I should start on the left side and move my way back to the right. That way it'll make... When I leave the... Uh, when I leave the quarry... I'll already be over here instead of having to walk back over here. Weak. Okay, that's all looking good. We'll put that in there. We go. So I'll be able to make eight kegs tomorrow for sure. Uh, now we're going to the farm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And we'll do the kegs outside on the farm. And then we will do the kegs in the house. Out of curiosity, what do these guys want? They want an earth crystal? Alright, if I find an earth crystal, I will save it for you guys. I just sold a bunch, but yeah, whatever. I'm pretty sure I don't have any more. Why do I have this here? Why isn't that why hasn't that been sold? Weird. Alright. Oh, a coffee's done too. Sweet. Alright, so let me just grab a not-star fruit out of my inventory. Grab all of the cafe. 
Uh, let's check the basement first. Lovely. Starfruit. Oh yeah, we got server quality. Sweet. As expected. Oh my goodness, just everything's happening. We got silver quality as expected, so that stuff will be gold quality before the end of the run. So basically, as soon as it hits gold quality... Actually, yeah, as soon as it hits gold quality, I might just grab them and sell them right away, because... I can put more kegs here. <laughs> I can save room for kegs. Again, do I need them? No, I don't. Old habits die hard. Oh, I guess I may as well start filling these up, actually. Yeah, there are definitely more efficient ways of uh, having kegs in the house, I'll tell you that. Did not do super great with the layout, but you know what? Hey, it's good enough. We got lots of kegs. It's all that matters. All that matters is that they're there and they're filled with star fruit. And we make lots of monies. One of these days I will do a Stardew run where I'm not just trying to make as much money as possible. Don't know what else you do in this game, but one day. One day. All right, sweet. We got 536 star fruit wine. Nice. Let's make some triple shot. Oops. And let me put the extra coffee in there. You could complete the museum in spring. <laughs> could I, though? Could I, though, I should say? Could I complete the museum in spring? You could complete the museum in spring. Could I complete the museum in spring? I'd have to be blade level to complete the museum in spring. I just don't think that's gonna happen. If I was if I was the level of the blade, then that would be one thing. What am I doing? Oh, I need to sell some stuff, that'd be helpful. Okay, so sell the 542 starfruit wine, sell the largemouth bass thingy, sell the rabbit's foot. Um 350 PM. May as well cavern? Oh, I've got more stuff there. Look at that. Um, yeah, gold cover. Well, uh, whatever. Whatever. Um, yeah. Let's go get some more ore at least. So all I have to buy is wood. So I just spilled water all over my desk. Just ignore that. Okay. And there's... Oh my goodness, I almost hit my keyboard. That would have been bad. Uh, <clears throat> Alright. Uh, let's go cavern. Probably gonna start skipping days. Uh, probably gonna start skipping days pretty soon. I would imagine. Um... Whoops. Um. Because, yeah, at this point, I'm pretty much just waiting for cakes to finish. And, and there's really nothing that says I have to, um. Nothing that says that I have to kind of refill the cakes as we go. Like, I'm pretty sure that's, uh. Will be fine either way, so. Hey, I'm not sure that I'm probably never gonna eat. I'm not really mad at it, to be honest with you, all this food I have. Like, worst case scenario, I sell it. So, I mean. Even getting this extra food and stuff, it's like. Eh, whatevs. I can sell my magma caps, they'll be worth a bit of money. 
hoping for an open ladder there, that's alright. It's only neutral luck today, so... Oh wow, I got a ladder pretty fast there, actually. May as well keep going, just looking for easy ores. Speaking of which... Ooh, and there's copper and everything, look at that. Ooh, and a drop ship! Okay, well I guess this plus one luck from this spicy eel is helping. He fell five levels. What the heck is this crap? Alright, let me stare out of here. Let's throw the stairs there. I nearly died, actually. Uh, let's eat a... That's 175. That's 175. Uh, you know what? I've got fewer purple mushrooms. Let's eat some purple mushrooms. Probably should have had a gold, gold quality mushroom, but whatever. Here's some iron. I'm really kind of curious about, like, whenever I get to, get to one of these levels, I always think, oh, I'd love to get to the middle just to see what's there. Maybe I'll do that right now. Now you can really tell I'm wasting time. Like, now there is literally zero urgency. Especially today, because I couldn't, wasn't able to buy, to buy any wood. Because I forgot about the festival. Whoops. Um, actually, I'm not going to break any rocks right now. I don't want to create a ladder and then have... I'd be less likely to spawn. I just so rarely get to the middle of these levels. Like I <laughs> now, whenever I get to this level, I just stare out of it. I'm like, I'm not wasting my time on this. Got some iron, got some coal, worth it. Two coal, maybe it wasn't worth it. Maybe I'll just stare out of here. Honestly, I've got so many stairs. So many stairs. Another miner's treat. I gotta start eating these miner's treats too, man. Holy cow. Got so many of these guys. What is that? Like my... I gotta have like five or something by now. Ooh, yes. Give me the ores. Besides money, any other objectives still left to this perfection? No, nothing that's not some um, just hey an earth crystal. Nothing that's not just gonna happen. So um Yeah, the um whatchamacallum? The golden clock is the big one. But that's just a matter of time at this point. Uh the recipes is the one I haven't completed the recipes yet, but again, I can't yet. I need to wait for the next two Sundays. Um I mean yeah, everything is like all the RNG stuff is done. So like, like getting the artifacts for the museum and whatever, golden clock in a matter of time. <laughs> I did not cover my bases there. That's thank you for pointing that out. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you sure you're not a dad already? Um, yeah, all the RNG stuff is done, so that's good. No more like museum stuff. No more. Um, what else is there? No more of. Hey, a rabbit's foot. Uh, yeah, no more museum stuff. No more, you know, so no more, like, geodes to crack and whatever. Um, uh, RNG. Yeah, like, the, the random stuff. The stuff that you're praying for. So, like, basically, if um, you need a particular... Like, I, I needed a particular artifact that's... Um, I need a particular art. I'm just gonna leave. I need a particular artifact that you can only get from either an artifact trove or from, uh, or sorry, no, either from an artifact spot in certain areas of the map or um, by killing a skeleton. I think it was. Um, and I managed to get one killing a skeleton. So it's like that's the kind of thing where you just you're just hoping that you get lucky, basically. So no more of that stuff is what it comes down to. Um, yeah, just a couple recipes left and raise the funds to get the golden clock. And we'll be good, I think. Pretty sure. Let me just double check that, actually. Let's have a look at the checkup. And let's 
Let's reload it because I didn't just play a new day. Infection tracker. It says, yeah, so I've made 97.5% of the recipes, but the two I'm missing, like I say, I don't even, I have to watch the TV to get over the next couple of Sundays. And then just the golden clock and that's it. So we are like right there. I might just, um, when should I start skipping days? I guess I don't really need... Oh, Mega Bomb time. I really like this level because it's super gratifying. Let's just blast the whole thing with a Mega Bomb. Super nice. Oops. Except when I do that. Boop, run. Run! What do you have planned after this run? Nothing in stu- whoops. Well, the first thing I gotta do is not die in this run. Uh, after this run, nothing in Stardew. No Stardew challenges. Um, what I'm going to do stream-wise, uh, I'm gonna go full catharsis and do a Hitman stream. Uh, and just murder a bunch of people. And probably gonna play a little bit of mini motorways. And then I'll get back into doing music streams. Not all the time, obviously. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing... I was doing a lot of music streams and I wasn't playing any games on stream. Um, so I'm gonna start, start doing some music streams and then I'll still do like a regular gaming stream of some sort. What I do, who knows. But I'll be getting back into making music again. It's been a nice break, but uh, I'm kind of getting the itch a little bit, so we'll see how it goes. Ugh, itchy. Alright, speaking of itch. Whoops, that was uh, not my pickaxe. No more Stardew Valley? Uh, no, nothing planned. I mean, it's obviously I will always play Stardew Valley because Stardew Valley, one of the greatest games of all time. Um, and I will fight anyone who says otherwise. But um, nothing, plan nothing planned as far as streaming goes. I was thinking about doing this run again, but doing it on, like, on hard mode. So instead of making it easy on myself, instead of, you know, picking a particular seed and... Um, uh, you know, taking the forest farm or whatever, doing it on the beach farm, and uh, just going for whatever seed I get kind of thing. Um, hmm. There are a lot of ghosts coming towards me right now. I find that distressing. Um, I was thinking about doing that, but we'll see. We'll see. It's funny because when I started out, I always knew I was going to be a variety streamer. I just knew that's what I was going to do. Um, and I ended up... Uh-oh. I want that diamond. Um, end up talking with uh, other streamers who are like, Oh yeah, I'm a variety streamer. I play, you know, this shooter and I play that shooter and I play the other shooter or whatever. And for, for me, for me being a variety streamer is like... Yeah, I might play a video game, and then I might do music production, and then I might, you know... It's like, it's not even playing games, it's like, all over the place. It's kind of... been difficult to build an audience, let's just say that. Well, actually, it's funny, because some folks, like... There are people who have, um... Like Andrew Hetzel, for example, who came across me, I believe, in a music stream, if I'm not mistaken, Andrew Hetzel. Uh, Copper Fronts was Hitman. Um, Pineapple Sandwich was Minecraft, when I put back when I played Minecraft. Um, so it's been wild to like... It's, I mean, I, I've met a lot of great people, don't get me wrong, like it's been a lot of fun, but... Um, it's kind of funny how... Like... It's kind of funny how you find streamers and how you, uh... Um, kind of connect with them and stuff, and... Even for me, like, some of the people that... Like, some of my friends are people that I watch. Um... Yeah, it's just kind of cool. It's just kind of cool, because it's, like, all over the place how everyone finds everybody else and, um, stuff. So, but for me, it's it's a little bit crazy. I should have planned it up better. Gotta have variety as not to get stuck in a routine. Yeah, but routine, routine's better for building an audience, though. So. <laughs> if people know what to expect. I found, uh, hey, what's up, Proba Neighbor? How you doing? 
found the stream when you were doing music stuff and I always tune in every now and then because of vibes. I'm like, well, thank you very much. And, how, and how, how are you doing? It's been a while. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe. Yes, the music streams uh, will be back. They shall return. I should go to the mine first, speaking of returning. And put some stuff in the furnaces. I mean, it's not become routine as in boring for the streamer. Yeah, that's that's definitely happened to me. To be honest with you, that that happened with to be honest with you, that happened with me in Minecraft, where I just burnt out hard. That's why we have challenges. Well, exactly. Yeah, that's part of the reason that makes part of the thing that makes Stardew so good, is that you can. Uh, oh, I want to refill those kegs right now. Um, part of the reason that makes my uh, Stardew so good is the fact that um, you can do these challenges and there's like, you can challenge yourself with whatever. Like, it's pretty awesome. Um, with Minecraft, I was doing some modded stuff, but like, even that's like, you know, I think I did some Sky Factory uh, for a while. I think I, what happened was I did Sky Factory 3. Really enjoyed that, played that for a long time. And then I did Sky Factory 4. Didn't enjoy that as much. Um, and, uh, but yeah, even like playing with mods. And then I made my own kind of mod pack where I grabbed a bunch of mods and threw them together myself. And, and it was messing around with that. But even that was like, it was, I was like <laughs> getting pretty. And then the last time, then we tried to play it again recently. Like we tried to play, um, we tried to play again recently. Diane and I were playing some Minecraft for a little while, and it was it had been so long since I'd played a first-person game. I was getting motion sick. So I have no idea how I'm going to play Krunker here next week, but we'll gloss over that. Um, what kind of music do you make for your music streams? <laughs> well, you know how I was saying how my streaming life has been all over the place in terms of what I stream? There we go. Uh, all right. There is music of many genres. <laughs> it's a little bit silly. Again, very difficult to build. The oh, I called it. I said I was going to get 1.7, 1.8 million, and I got 1.78 million. It's crazy. Uh, all right, sweet. So we are now up to, we've got to be up to six, seven? Where are we at? Six or seven? Math. We are up to six and a half million. Look at that. Hey, I called it. I said six or seven. Turns out it was halfway between six and seven. Go me. Is that <laughs> um, Oh, I was going to upgrade my uh, thingy too, wasn't I? Let's go see Clint. I can actually go see Clint whenever too because he's at his counter all morning before uh, 9 a.m. so I can go there whenever. Um, good. And I will go buy some wood from Robin today as well. To uh, to make however many more kegs I can make. This is really exciting actually. I'm, I'm just, I'm so happy this, this is coming together. Like, even the stuff I'm doing now, don't even need to do it. Should I even bother redoing the starfruit? Kind of can't help it. I almost feel like I need to redo a star fruit. Um, but yeah, it's like, I don't even... Like, I don't even need to be doing this. I can literally sleep through till next Sunday, get the recipe, make it, sleep through to the Sunday after we're... Uh, wait, and harvest all the... You know, and get all the things. Um, then the next Sunday... There's only a few things I really have to do right now. So, I might skip a couple of days. Uh, just to get us a little bit further ahead. Um, yeah. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I wish I could remember what I was talking about uh, before I got off on 15 different tangents, but... What do you do? Right, so we're gonna go see Clint. Uh, I've got a little bit more... Uh, whatchamacallit? Starfruit. Um... I should just sell these jades. I have so many staircases and I have so many jades. I should just sell that one. 
We're going to go see Clint. We're going to buy... Oh, we're going to upgrade the trash can. So, type of music. Because the hype is off a tangent. Type of music? Um, all sorts. There's no single genre that I produce in. That's, uh... That's the answer to that question. Heavy metal, mostly. <laughs> I know, I, I'm really into, like, headbanging stuff. Um, you can tell because of my long hair. Alright, so let's sell that. that. Um, I'm going to keep the earth crystal for the fishies in the fish pond. I saw that, Jade. I'm going to... Ne so now I can make 20... Now I can make 26. Yike. You shiny. <laughs> I know, right? It's funny, because I've, I've written songs in near, in most genres. Even did a heavy metal song one time, but it was before I knew how to play guitar, so I had to, like, fake it. Um, but, um... The funny thing about that is I never wrote a country song. Okay, so let's... Is there anything I want to do before I do this? Probably doesn't matter. Let's get the red trash can. Let's do it. Fake it till you make it? Yeah. And even if you don't. So, back to the mines. So, we're going to get in the Rudigum trash can. Um, Sell that. I did talk to Maru today, right? I feel like I did. It's Tuesday. She's going to the clinic anyway. So, let's just double check and make sure. I do not want to... Do not want to screw up perfection if I by losing. Again, it doesn't really matter because I could just give her a loved gift and it would be fine. But that's why I became an SDE. What is an SD? Oh, st what's an SDE? Stardew expert. George wants a gold bar. I'd rather sell it. Maru. <laughs> Hit her with a hammer. I can't talk to her right now. I'm at work, don't let the doctor see. Software development engineer. Oh, nice. So on Sunday, um, how does this work? So Saturday is the 20th anniversary of um, my first, of me buying my first domain. I'm an idiot. Robin just left, so I can't buy any wood today. It's gonna go buy wood from Robin, and she just left the house, and I missed it. But at this point, it's yeah, it's not worth resetting the day. Whoops! Oh well, forget it. Um. You were saying that? Yes. Uh, so yes, it's just Saturday is the 20th anniversary. So Sunday on stream, I have I have gone through the archives and I grabbed a video. I didn't have any videos um, in 2001 on my website. I hadn't even made any videos yet. The first video I made was like early 2002. Um, but sort of in the style that was like intentionally produced and I finally had a camera and I could make a video and whatever. Um, so that video, show the original code. Oh, I can show you some code for sure. Um, that video, I can't really play anyways because it has music that I don't own. But I did pick an old video from the archives that I will play on stream. Um, and you can see what I looked like 20 years ago when I was skinny. Okay, uh, let me put some stuff in. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter what I put in here now because honestly... But whatever. I did find out though that I didn't switch to uh, all the long hair. I did have more hair back then. Um, I did switch to using a content management system uh, in 2004, I believe. Is when I no is, is that true? Hold on. I was looking through my old websites and stuff. Uh, my first CMS was Joomla, and then I switched to WordPress because I just didn't. Yeah. I, there were certain things I wanted to do, and at the time, WordPress didn't, and Joomla did. But Joomla was super overcomplicated and stuff, so... Um, I ended up switching to WordPress just to make my life easier. Uh, archive... 
two, no, that's 2000, 2004, no, 2005, no, 2006, no, uh, 2007, no, 2008, no, 2010, no, uh, 2013, 2013, apparently, sometime between 2010, 2013, uh, um, Somewhere in there, anyways. Um, WordPress. Yeah, WordPress is pretty ubiquitous nowadays. Let's go back to the farm. Um, yeah, I um, switched to CMS sometime after 2010, basically, is what it came down to. Was keeping the oldest niece... Was keeping the oldest niece the day of Bro's 10-year wedding anniversary? Oh, nice. That's kind of you. Uh, all right, so... I might just start selling stuff. Uh, you know what? There's no rush. There's no rush. Uh, anyways, um, so yeah, I, I started using CMSs pretty late because I just wanted to keep having nice code. Nice clean code. There we go. Look at all my large mouth basses. Ten years buying first domain. Uh, anyway, so yes, I'm going to play at least one video um, from, I believe it was, I'm pretty sure it was 2003. Um, so yeah, if you want to see what I looked like 20 years ago, might be another video I'll play as well. Um, not that I was in, but it was just a humorous video. The reason I thought of that about that is because you mentioned um, being a software engineer, and I... Um, on one of my old, on my old websites, I had a program that I'd written, and maybe I'll dust that program off and see if I can like run it, <laughs> see if I can get it to work. I'm pretty sad about the wood, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna have so many of these things to make. I can make one more. Let me go make the last iron bar. I'll put the last iron bar, and then I might sleep the rest of this day. Because I just don't know if I feel like going, uh... That's not the mines. I don't know if I feel like going to the... <laughs> I just I was just going to say, I don't know if I feel like going to the Skull Cavern, and I took the wrong obelisk, and now I'm at the Skull Cavern. Okay, um... Anything I care about here? Nope. Well, what did the program do? Um, it was the virtual toenail clipping program. And what it would do is you could use that program to virtually clip your toenails. It was text, did I mention it was text-based? Um, <clears throat> the, sto the story behind that is it was New Year's Eve, I guess probably New Year's Eve 2002, <clears throat> and some friends and I were going to get together and we were going to ring in the new year with a LAN party, as you do. And, um... <sighs> I'm going to need so much ore tomorrow. Um, but before we did that, our church was um, having a New Year's thing. So we kind of figured, okay, we'll, we'll make a polite appearance at this thing. I was going to talk about an athlete with long fingernails. Yeah, I have... I wonder why, like... You ever notice how, like, 100-meter sprinters, a lot of them just wear, like, they wear, like gold chains or whatever. It's like, why are you wearing jewelry? Like, aren't you trying to save... Does it, I guess it doesn't make that big a difference if you're running that quickly. You know, a few grams of weight isn't going to make a difference, but, like, wouldn't you want to... Anyways. Um, <clears throat> so we go to uh, this party, and, and uh, we're saying we're going to go. And one of our... One of, another one of our friends was like, why, why are you guys going? Like, where are you... And I was like, oh, we're going to go and we're going to go have a land party. And he said, uh, he wasn't the computer guy. He said, I would rather clip my toenails than do that. And I said, you know what? Computers can do that. In fact, I should write a program where you clip your, where you clip your virtual toenails. Now he was in high school and he went, he was going, he was, um, going away to school. And then in the spring he came back and I was like, Hey, remember when you said this? Yeah, here's the program. <laughs> So I got to show Jesse the virtual toenail clipping program. Uh, it was hilarious. I know I'm not making it sound hilarious, but it, you'll have to take my word for it. Okay. I just realized... 
I only have six coal. And, um... Clint's working on my garbage can, so I can't buy any coal from Clint. <laughs> this is clearly not being very well thought out, is what we're, what we're learning here today. Have to see this. Yes, I will. I will dig it up. I'm not even sure. I'm pretty sure the Windows, the Windows text version won't work anymore. Um, but I do have. I did. I, I realized I did um, compile a DOS version of it, so I might be able to run that in DOSBox. So I'll try that. I'll see if that works, and then if it does, then I'll. Uh... I will. We'll do some virtual toenail clipping on stream. At the time when I made the virtual toenail clipping program, one of my friends um, that we actually were doing the land party with, um, it was right around then that he started getting into programming as well. Um, and uh, one of the first projects that, because he was like, "Okay, teach me how to do this." So I'm like, "All right, let me teach you. How to, teach you what I know at least, then you can go from there." Um, so we made the virtual snowboarding program. Um, same kind of idea. <clears throat> but, um, anyway, it turns out that this guy that I kind of showed the, sort of showed the very initial ropes of, hey, this is how programming works and what you do and whatever else, um, is an incredible programmer now. <laughs> like, he is just, the stuff he's done is just ridiculous. Like, he was, yeah. The stuff he does is just, it's, it's crazy. Um, at one point he was getting headhunted by Skype, but they wanted to move him to like, this was long, long ago before, you know, Microsoft ruined it. Um, he was getting head, headhunted by Skype, but he ended up, but he, he wanted to move him to like Eastern Europe or whatever. He made a program, he made an iOS program to do something or other, and Apple's just like, he got a cease and desist letter from Apple, because they didn't want him doing that stuff without them being involved. It was a whole thing. The dude is just incredible. So what, Zuckerberg is signing an NDA? No, it's not Mark Zuckerberg. The person I'm talking about has a soul. But, um, but yeah, dude's pretty awesome. Now he's big into, like, blockchain and stuff. I should really ask him how blockchain works. I mean, I get, like, I kind of get the basics of it, but I know there's stuff I don't know about blockchain. All right. <clears throat> it's apples and oranges. Blockchain's apples and oranges? I know apples and oranges. So today is the 10th. Uh, what do we have going on? Nothing till the 13th. And then the 14th, we have. There should be some kegs done, and the Ginger Island Starfruit will be done. And yeah, so I might just make a bunch of kegs, get them kegging. I can make, what can I make? I can make 27 kegs if I have the wood. So I'll go buy some wood. Um, and then, yeah, I'll make some kegs and put them down and I'll just sleep another day. Misplaced my touch, though it's just a third gen. Yeah, I never, I never had an iPod. I don't think I ever actually owned an iPod. What am I here to sell? Why did I bring the starfruit seeds with me? Why you do this? All right, we are gonna go see Robin, and we will pro pro procure some wood. Uh, that's eighty-five. That's five. That's oh nope. That's ten. All right. And having procured the wood, we will um, make some cakes. And having made the kegs, we will fill the kegs with delicious, delicious star fruit. <laughs> I keep putting, um, like, wine and stuff in these kegs I'm trying to save for, for coffee, and then I don't have enough kegs to put coffee in. All right. <clears throat> So, hello, Robin. I require, um, wood. How much wood do I require? 27, what's 27 times 30? Well, 30 times 30 is what, 9,000? 30 times 30 is 90, no, 900. 900. So I need two, 900 minus 100 and 
120 is... No, it's 104... I give up. I'm too tired, I don't care. No, it's 27 times 30. 810 is the number I'm looking for. Thank you, technology. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 810. Lovely. Now I should be able to make 27 kegs. Very nice. Sweet. Um. Wait a second. What? Did I put any bars in, in the mines? Don't know if I did. Did I put any bars in here? One. One. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna make. I'm gonna go buy 30 wood and make one more keg. I've got time. I've got time. We just gotta get through this grind. We get these these uh, get that money. How you like in winter, Leo? I wonder if Leo will have a, like a winter. Nope. All right. At least with Windows and Google. At least Windows and Google don't lock one's music files into a format that doesn't work well with other. <laughs> True story. I was never an Apple guy in the first place. Like I was never really got into that scene. Um, so yeah, I never, uh, I always preferred to, it was just a thing where it's like, you know what, do I really want to spend this money for a, a computer that doesn't perform as well as the computer I'm going to buy with the same money? And I always took care of my computers, right? Like I was, you know, was careful, you know, would carefully take care, make sure they were clean and make sure they ran well and I took a bite at the logo. <laughs> Um, that sort of thing. So it was never, like, dealing with, you know, viruses and whatever. It was never really a problem for me. Like, I just... Or, like, you know, when computers would slow down and stuff. Oh. Whoops. Um, that was never really a problem. Because I just would always take care of my computers and stuff. Can I go there? Yeah, okay. Okay, and then we'll put some up here as well. Starting there. Nice, sorry. I need to stop watching from my MacBook. Oh no, dude. No, I do. Think, hey, don't get me wrong. Like for some people, it's uh, the perfect platform, right? Like if if you just don't want to deal with anything, you don't want to have to deal with main maintenance and whatever else. Absolutely perfect platform. Like I have friends who are graphic designers and stuff. That's just what they do. Uh, makes perfect sense for them. But for me personally, being that I very, I very rarely. Uh, use computers in the way they were intended. Um, I just much prefer to have way more control over what my what my computer does and what I do on it. So I uh protected from viruses was a bonus for the years I had to use the iPod touch. Um yeah so and then I got into using Linux and it was just yeah now I literally have no reason to Especially nowadays when, uh, like back in the 90s, um, you had to use a Mac to use, to, to use certain softwares, or you had to use, you know, <laughs> if you were broke like me, you had to pirate. Um, but now, even for, even for Linux, there's so much, I shouldn't even say even for Linux, but like, um, so, for example, I use DaVinci Resolve to edit my videos, right? DaVinci Resolve is an incredible video editor. Um, it, it's known for its color grading, but it's... I mean, I edit all my videos on it. And uh, it's awesome. Like, and it's available for Linux, right? Like, you can do music in Linux. You can... The only reason I still use Windows as much as I do <clears throat> is for streaming. Because if I'm playing Hitman, for example, I can't play Hitman on Linux. Um... As it turns out, who knew? So it's things like that where it's like there are certain things that like that's the only reason. But honestly, like my laptop, I do a boot. I have Linux running on my laptop. My server that I have, my my, my file server and database server that runs OpenBSD. Um, the computer that I'm that I'm using VNC to access right now, that I'm looking at the chat on, that's running OpenBSD. So it's like. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my trash can's ready. Sweet. Um, so yeah, it's like, 
And there's so much free software out there nowadays, it's like... If you don't want to pay money for something, you don't have to, and you can still do it completely legit. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to pirate software anymore to make music or to edit some images or to edit video or to, you know... Linux equals unit. Also true, which I've also used to my advantage, actually. So, um, I have a funny story about that. So, how did this work now? It was, um, I was somewhere. So anyway, somewhere I was at this place and they were using a, a shared Mac. <coughs> and, um, <coughs> excuse me. And, uh, one of the one of the tech guys there was kind of those really like kind of control freaky kind of guys. He just wanted to have the keys to the kingdom and not let anybody else play in the sandbox. So <clears throat> he decided he was going to change the root password on this shared computer. So we're using the shared computer and we realize, oh wait a second, we don't have access to these particular files or this particular thing that we need for this thing that we're doing, and we can't we don't have access to the root password because the guy changed the root password and didn't tell anybody else what it was. So I thought to myself, hey, wait a second. Um, th this is based on BSD now. I'm a, I'm a Linux guy, kind of. I should be able to, uh, I wonder if I can figure this out. Turns out, if you have physical access to a Macintosh computer, you just hold down, uh, option, I think it's like option S or something when you boot, and it'll boot you to single user mode, and, um, you can change the root password you have if you have physical access to a mac you can change the root password like never mind you know oh i hacked it over the internet or anything like that it's literally it's built in you can change the root password with no trouble um, if you have physical access to a mac which i mean is a pretty significant um security risk um but i mean you know, what do you do? Anyway, the point is that, um, yeah, that's my funny, uh, story where I just went online and went like, okay, how do I do this? Oh, I just hold down this, and then you just run the password command, and you're good to go. Oh, okay, thank you. So, yeah, we reset the root password and called it a day. I never actually heard if there was any fallout from that. Like, I never actually heard if, uh, I'm going to try and make 22 kegs today. Let's just buy everything we need. How much do I need for 22 kegs? Need 660 wood. All right, let's go buy 660 wood. We're going to go see Clint. We'll grab the garbage can. We'll buy whatever ore we need. We're going to make however many more kegs we're going to make, and then uh be good. Um, anyways, uh, Robin. That was actually easy math. I don't know why I did the calculator for 22 times 30. That's, that's easy math. Oh, well. What up, Robin? I require... As it turns out, 660 woods. 25, 6, 50, 60. Thank you. All right, let's go see Clint. I only have three more days to buy, to spend money like this buying kegs. So I may as well use my three days. 360. Let's go see Clint. I'm like, what am I doing? Tension span. What up, Clint? Give me that garbage can, boy. Nice. Okay, so we have a nicer garbage can now. Probably never gonna use it, but whatever. Okay, shop. So I need 22 bars. So 22 times 20 times 5 is 100. So 110 iron, for sure. And then I need 105, 104 copper. And then, 660, yes. Do you have no garbage till he's done? Oh, you have garbage, you just have your regular can or whatever can you had. Uh, and then I need to be able to smelt these guys. So I need to be able to, I need to buy like 40 coal or whatever it is. I'm gonna just buy 40. Uh, maybe I won't. I need 22, so I need 43 coal. So right now, <laughs> I don't have anything extra, 
but I have enough coal and enough stuff to make this many cakes. The irony, of course, being I don't even think... I have enough time in the day to do all this. Um... Because I have to do this in three rounds, well, two and a half rounds, or two rounds. So that's going to be noon, then 2 p.m., and then we got to smelt the copper. Um, okay, well, we'll come back at noon, I guess. Uh, let me, I mean, I'm here. Let's go into the mines. Irrelegorbless, you will do it. Uh, do, 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 do. Coal. Let's hit the coal levels. Oh, wow. I wonder if it's good luck today or something. Wait, does luck... I can't remember. Blade, you'll know this. Does luck control... If you're still here. Does luck control your... Uh, the amount of ore that spawns? You're regardless. Rage! Grammar Nazi Rage! More irony. Still getting a red light under it. It's because it's not a word. Rage! You know what does bug me a bit? People who don't say etc. properly. You're literally making, like, saying etc. Or, uh... There was somebody I met one time who said and cetera. Like, and, the word and. Cetra. And I, <laughs> I got a magic rock candy from that guy. Holy cow. I just got an oak resin. I don't know how I feel about that. Because <laughs> I planned out everything perfectly according to how much I would need of everything, and now I have an extra oak resin. Alright, well let's grab some extra coal and some extra resources and stuff. Let's make one more keg. Because the rage is real. Um, yeah, it was just fine. This person said Ancetra, and I was just like... What, what, what in the name of all that's holy did you just say? Like, what, what are you even saying? What words are even coming out of your face right now? And Cetra. Get out of here. Okay, so there's enough iron. Oh, wait, I have enough iron already. Yeah, never mind. Uh, but I do need to go grab some copper, so let's just grab this because it's here. And then we'll hit that, because why not? And then... I don't know why I went down there. That was the wrong button. Uh, then we'll head back. And I have another hour before that's done. So let's go to level 10. And see if we can find a smattering of copper. And then we drink another triple shot, because why not? Getting me sleeping through days, so now I can definitely use more triple shot. Oh, there's one. So one lone little bitty copper ore node. All right, let's see if I can get a ladder here on the way back. There we go. I should really bring the, um... actually at this point, I should probably go grab the crab cakes or something and use them for speed as well. That would be handy. Copper. Ooh, there we go. That is gonna be enough, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Sweet. Because of spelling because <laughs> of spelling is wrong. Anyways, yeah, the whole etc. thing bugs me. That's what it comes down to. Okay, I'm gonna start making copper, just so I can start making kegs. Um let's go back to while we wait for that. So that's gonna be finished around three. Um, so let's go. 
And see if we can get some more copper. Wait, I didn't want to do this, did I? Because the next level down is the weirdo levels. The skeleton level thingy. No, it's not. I'm just confused. Never mind. Just old and, old and confused. One day they're going to put me in a home. I'm going to be like, I swear it was... I swear I was doing... I was going to the mines and I was trying to get copper and... Yeah, okay, Grandpa, take it easy. Some older spelling, though, is the writing charged by the letter. <laughs> what I find funny is, is um, for example, the word debt. Apparently, the word debt, D-E-B-T, is spelled with a B because the people who decided to, to keep that word spelled with a B um, wanted to reference a French, the French word for debt or something like that. And so that's literally why we have, the, well, there's a B in the word debt. It's just some random dudes were like, oh, yeah, you know what we're going to do. We want people to think of this when they think of this word. We want people to, re to remember this old word when they think of this word. So that's what we're going to say. Why would you do that? The B is silent. Yeah. Uh, 420 just plays. I think I might um, swing by this, these guys. Lamb, comb, the same. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea where those words come from, what the origin of those words is. Okay, so we've got 11 kegs. Um, let's grab this holly while I'm here. Uh, we can make 12 more. English equals no sense. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, I'm very thankful that English is my first language, but I feel so bad for people who try to learn English. I mean, even, like, basic English is, like... You can learn the basics, but like, honestly, if you're really trying to dig into it, I just feel so bad. <laughs> Facts. Uh, I just feel so bad for the people who, like I tried to learn Spanish and I ended up giving up because I was f forgetting more than I was learning. But, um, But yeah, there are even some things where it's like, and I mean, Spanish is one of those languages that, one of the romance languages that has, um, you know, gender-based nouns, right? Like, and again, no rhyme or reason as to which one's which, it's just the way it is. And um, struggled with that, of course. And, uh... Oh, speaking of French, hello, Zahara, how are you doing? Bonsoir, bonsoir! Ça va, mon ami? Uh, what's up, Ryan? How are you doing? Ryan's here, too. What's up, Ryan? What is going on? Jeopardy, the O is silent. True story. Anyways, the point is... I'm bad enough at English without... Trying to learn a different language. Took three years of French in school. I don't speak French. You're, I'm glad you're doing well. I am also doing well. I uh, hope you're doing well. hope you're staying safe. Uh, since Twitch sings, I know, right? Can we get some Fs in the chat for Twitch sings? Um, yeah, Twitch sings is no longer with us. See, yeah, in Spanish is a chair for girls, but why? <laughs> um... Oh, I need the copper, okay. Um, Zahara, have you heard of... Uh, yeah, and Andrew Hetzel speaks French as well. Have you heard of Smool? The app Smool? I don't even know if that's how you say it. That's all I'm saying. Um, a, lot of tw a lot of Twitch sing streamers that I know have started doing duets on Smool instead. Um, I'm not sure how you would stream it. If you were going to stream it, but... I mean, people do it, so I don't know. Yes, I never used it. Yeah, I, mean, I haven't used it either. I'm pretty sure... I think I tried using it in, like, an Android emulator once, and I think it worked. Um, I couldn't prove it, but I think it worked. So I think technically it would be fairly easy to stream, but... Um, oh, my copper's fully done. 
Uh, Outer Haven's here. Man alive. It's, it's, it's just the reunion to end all reunions. I can't believe, I can't believe you guys are all, this is incredible, what a night. Outer Haven's here, Ryan's here, Zahara stopped in. For those of you wondering, you guys, Zahara is a streamer um, that we sang together on Twitch string. So make sure you check out Zahara, J974, there we go. Make sure you check out Zahara. Zahara is like actually French. Um, I want to make a Twitch Sings video game, but with built-in auto-tune and effects adjustable too, so if you want, you, I could sing I Came From Lionel Under as Obama. <laughs> Plug-in lines having a huge sale. Are there really? Kind of want to do that. Thank you, thank you, Zahar. Thank you for all the duets that we sang back in the day. We had some good times. We had some good times on Twitch Sings. Um, I have no idea. I think I just, did I just put iron in all those chests? and all the, uh, uh, furnaces? Um, that would be embarrassing. Outer Haven, how are you doing? What's going on with you? There's one. No, I put three in. Okay, sweet. Uh, I got like 200 worth of stuff for free. All right. I'm interested. I do like free. What am I missing now? What, I need to make a keg. Wood. Crap, I forgot about that. Um, where can I get some wood? Let me swing by the, whatchamacallit, train station after drinking the triple shot espresso. Um, Mag EQ4, get that. Plug in the lines makes a lot of snake oil, but that thing makes me, <laughs> makes me turned on. I come from a land of blunder, especially the SSL console. Bro. Oh. Well. Okay. Turns out. Um, I have a lot of oak resin now. Well, <laughs> all right. Getting back into music making after my long hiatus. Nice. I am also very close. This this run is very close to being over. I uh, mostly have the mastering plugins. I mean, I'm not mad at that. I wouldn't mind refining my mastering chain a little bit. Um. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, so <laughs> and, and, uh, look, everybody follow everybody who's here right now. Just just do it. Just do yourself a favor. Everybody follows Ahara. She is a streamer who's actually entertaining. Um, and she's French. Um, <clears throat> everybody go follow Outer Haven. Outer Haven uh, makes music far better than I do. Uh, everybody go follow Ryan. Ryan also makes music far better than I do. Um, just everybody, just everybody go follow everybody. Uh, Mag Q29 right now, it's usually 220. I don't even stream anymore. Okay, well, Outer Haven should, well, okay, then go follow Outer Haven, um, f for the, to, like, follow SoundCloud and stuff, then. I mean, if you don't follow to for the streaming, make sure you check out and Ryan as well. Ryan has a SoundCloud. Make sure you go check out Ryan's SoundCloud. Do yourselves some favors and do the things I'm speaking of. Just favor yourself. Oh, that's it. I have to move that. Uh, okay, well, let's, 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 let's uh, put that there, I guess. I don't know. Uh, no, let's not put that there because eventually there's going to be another row of kegs there. So let's put that, say, um, down here, just because why not? Farm's a disaster anyway. Let's just do that. Okay, let's quickly throw some star fruit in these kegs after I sell a bunch of stuff. Sell, 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 sell. Keep, uh, sell. 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 Yeah. And then let's deconstruct this one. Um, <clears throat> is it even a farm anymore? I mean, not really. Uh, when a streamer first sees Slenderman just follow, just Slenderman just followed you. I am running out of daylight here. I gotta get this done. Uh, how you gotta say we better than you? I go to you for good feedback. I mean, I can, I can. <laughs> Yes, if you want a music, I put starfruit in those kegs again. Um, I put starfruit in my 
coffee cakes again. Uh, if you want, if you want opinions, I can give you an opinion. But like, if you want to actually hear good music, literally follow anyone. Follow anyone I've done a collab with in the past two, three years. Uh, follow, just follow everybody. All right. <clears throat> so. Do I care? Do I even care about my inventory right now? Let me clean up my inventory a little bit. Uh, let's throw that in there. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. This coffee bean, I'll just keep on me. Put that in there. Let's throw this over here. Like so. Hope we're not distracting you. It's, I had the attention span of a fruit fly anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and then... So I'm out of copper. I don't have a lot of wood. And I'm going to get more oak resin tomorrow. Uh, I think what I might actually do is I might cut down all the trees um, by the train and get rid of the uh, tappers I have up there as well. Because like I say, I, I'm certain now surely by now i must make enough money so it's i have 865 kegs oh i've almost added multitasking is impossible it is for this guy um i've almost added 100 kegs today so i have a hundred and let's say 850 let me open up a calculator again so i got 850 kegs times 3150 is 2.6 million uh let's look at the calendar so today's the 11th I am for sure going to get two more harvests. I'm for sure going to make five million. I've got six already. So I am definitely for sure, for sure, for sure going to accomplish this goal, which makes me very happy. I know I don't look it, but I'm very happy. Uh, so yeah, so that's good. Even right now, even not making a single other keg or anything, uh, I'm good, which is pretty sweet. So I think what we're going to do is... <clears throat> On Sunday's stream, could I finish this on Sunday? Because what's happening? So, because Tuesday I've got. Uh, hmm, let me think about this. Um, I've been playing a lot of the Zelda Link's Awakening on Switch lately. Oh, nice. How are you liking that? I almost played my Switch not long ago. That's, that's my switch story. I um, <clears throat> so I had to go, oh, had to go to the hospital, and get an MRI. <clears throat> Turns out I tore a muscle in my shoulder. Who knew? Um, and I didn't know. I knew I was going to be there for hours. So I'm like, okay, let me take something with something to do with me. Um, so I uh, let to be a distract. <laughs> um, <clears throat> am I good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I um. It's fine. I was just having a little bit of pain with certain motions. I just didn't have the full full strength in my shoulder. So, um, but it turns out that's why. So I have a going to be talking with chatting with having a chat with the doc and saying what he recommends we do. But anyways, um, so I took my switch thinking I'm going to be there for hours. I'll probably be sitting around for hours. I'll just take the switch and I can game on the switch. So I get there and uh, first I had to find where I was going because there's like in the medical imaging department of my local hospital, there's a different waiting room for every type of medical, med every type of image there is. So you have like the X-ray waiting room, the CT waiting room, the MRI waiting room, the ultrasound waiting room. So I had to find the right waiting room. Um, <clears throat> so they gave me the outfit. It was incredible. Um, if you follow me on social media, dubstep sounds like an MRI. If you follow me on social media, you saw my fantastic, my fantastic uh, hospital gown outfit. Um, So yeah, so I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, I'm on my phone and then I figure, okay, should I pull up the switch now? Uh, no, I'll just sit on my phone for a minute. Someone's going to come here and tell me something or other. So <clears throat> I go and I, I uh, play on my phone. Somebody comes out and says, hey, fill this, fill up this form. Did you feel the breeze? <laughs> they gave me pants too. The pants were fantastic. Tan colored. It was great. Um, <laughs> um, so I'm on my phone. Somebody comes out and says, fill out the form. I fill out the form. Give it back to the guy. He's like, okay go to this other waiting room so I go to the other waiting room and then I'm sitting there I'm like to pull my phone now no okay hold on let me just do so I'm gonna pull my switch now and I'll sit the rest around then somebody comes out and they're like oh hey I'll be back in a second I'll grab your form or whatever else I'm like okay great um I'm sitting there on my phone for a couple minutes the lady comes back she's like hey do you know what's going on I kind of generally explain it to me so she gives me the whole deal on what's going on 
Um, so I got the um, the injection, like the, the ink injection too, the dye injection. So like, yeah, this is what's going to happen. They're going to inject you with the dyes and do the MRI, blah, blah, blah. And um, so I'm like, okay, no problem. So I'm sitting there for three minutes and it's just like, it wasn't like waiting for long periods of time. It was kind of like waiting for five minutes, 10 minutes. So I'm just like on my phone, I'm checking Twitter. I'm posting funny stuff to social media. Um, and then it was time for the MRI. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it was time for the MRI. So I go into the MRI. Uh, oh, time for the for the dye injection. So they give me the dye injection. That took a little while. Um, and then um, you sit around for, and then you, from there, I thought, okay, now I'm probably gonna have to wait for this stuff to like, you know, dissipate and course through my body. But it was like from there straight to the MRI. So it was like, I took my switch with me and didn't turn it on. So I was thinking, oh yeah, I'll be sitting there for a while. I'll just take the switch and whatever I have on there, I'll just play. And um, yeah, didn't have, didn't really have time to do that. Although I have a funny picture I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, before I wrap up, give me a second here. That story was funnier in my head. Is what it comes. Is this is, is what we've learned? Um, I took this picture while I was waiting in one of my waiting rooms. <clears throat> Could you please explain to me why the word "pregnant" is in quotes? If you are or think you may be pregnant, you must inform the technologist before your exam. What? Pregnant. Why is pregnant in quotes? Holds up last time. The king has said something funny. <laughs> the king has said something funny, peasant. Um, yeah, I don't understand why pregnant is in quotes. That made me chuckle. Anyways, let's talk about Stardew Valley. Um, so we're going into the 12th of winter. I think I'm going to make my plan. I literally have nothing to do. Uh, I think I'm going to make my plan. to. I'm going to try and finish the run on Sunday. That is the plan. The plan is Sunday. We're gonna we in the we try to try to trap. Um, I think what I'm just gonna do is just start sleeping through days. I should make enough money. I should have enough everything. Everything should be fine. So I think I'm just gonna start sleeping through days. Have you ever thought you'd be a good farmer? No, I've never thought that in my life. I have never thought I'd be a good farmer. Farming is like beyond me. Um, I've tried to grow stuff. It, it, it never goes the way you think it's going to go. Um, me. The way it never goes the way I think it's going to go. Uh, so, yeah, next time on next time on Stardew Valley, or the Starcock Valley thing you coded, uh, perhaps you could code plants to grow. <laughs> well, I love plants to grow. They'd probably grow better. I should do a virtual plant growing program. That would probably work better. Uh, okay, so, yeah, the plan is next time. We're going to try and finish it. We're going to try and get through the last two weeks. So, it's going to be a lot of sleeping through days and stuff. Um, also on Sunday, remember I'm going to play um, a 20, year, nearly 20 year old video, a video from the early days of my first dot com. So we're going to have a mini 20 year anniversary celebration. Um, next Tuesday, uh, we got. Some, I'm going to be playing Crunker with a bunch of other people. So um, that's the plan for Tuesday the 24th. Stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, and then we'll talk about, um, so next week's going to be a bit of a weird week, I think, because I'll probably do, I'll try and finish Stardew on Sunday, maybe Monday I'll do Hitman, Tuesday I'll do, be doing Crunker, and then maybe Wednesday I'll do some mini motorways, or maybe I'll do mini motorways on, I don't know, we'll see. Guess who? Yes, too. Um... Wait, Paul, play the thing I sent you was like 30 seconds long. Okay, I will do that. Uh, let me wrap up uh, the video, though. So if you're watching this on YouTube, congratulations for making it this far. You, there's, if you've made it this far, you've got one more video to watch. So, sorry. Um, and yeah, the plan for next time is just to, to make more kegs and, and make more money and stuff, as one does. That's the plan for next time. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Uh, farewell to YouTube. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.